Welcome to beautiful but pungent Arrow in Your Head Stadium in Carcass City, Missouri. Come for the football, stay for the barbecue. Just don't ask what the meat is, or who, unless you really want to know. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Sniffle Thrills take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat poor sympathies from the curb. Yeah, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hunt. Hunt one. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it doesn't always pay off. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. You, you finish him. <laughs> oh, everything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Walk 30 Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, man, but it keeps coming back to him. Mad Kim. Kim on. Get on the Get on the gap. Get on the gap. Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. and catch. Second down and six. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And there 
there's another pick. And the, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down, the defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing that my friends was an all-pro nfl hit And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm uh, going in circles. I'm a... First down and less than a defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten oh nice hit oh come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why i love this guy and so are the fans And it's first and ten. Oh man, he really wants it. And he's off to the races. Look at that little man. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. <laughs> First down to seven. If you don't hear it, perfect pass and the score! I'm a hot devil. I am a killing old fellow.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot Me. And, like Rick's balls, he and that's how you get your buzz on in the MFL. Yeah, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and ten. And he sinks him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two. Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Third down and eight. One, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. continues to climb. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite second and three hot hot one hot two hot three. Damn, this guy's like a human cannonball first down and my next door neighbor was a human cannonball grim he drowned in his pool. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Oh. 
Second down and nine. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And he plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to, oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, five, fo, fum. I am not finishing. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. It looks like we've got a penalty here. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Four. The defense goes away and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. He was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and ten. Uh, uh, 
If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have, but... Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and ten. And he breaks away. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and two. shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners by this afternoon. And that'll bring up second and one. First 
down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. Yeah. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. You know, you got to put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Bricks. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Brokeback mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of Newton. Got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, she and Prince and ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. You want to do some fun on your time. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Tim, what if interceptions counted as touchdowns? Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big... What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we wanted to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. 
The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! You want to do some fun on your time! And it's first and ten. scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. <laughs> and it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably have an interception. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like... Is that right, Clint? Something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. He creates a sonic. The carcass and he creeps pulverize the opposition into a bloody mess. They win this one by forfeit. Ah, oh, they murderized them, Grim. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.